All right, I didn't even know there was a, a Mac Bulldog up there. That's really cool. I'm at my local, wow, very windy. I'm at my uh, place to put air in my tire for the once every two week kind of thing. I'm trying to find a stem. Oh, there it is. I'd like to see where this hole is, but I think uh, probably within the next month or so, I'll just get a new tire or new tires. Free air, where does it say? Free air, there we go. I also like the, uh, the old style rather than a new style that has a sensor in it that tells you, you know, whenever you're, uh, your tire is full of air to just shut off. Um, this style is a lot easier. The one at Sheets at Wawa's, not so great. But yeah, I decided to go to a rummage sale. That way I can tell myself if this rummage sale is a good rummage sale to go to in the future because I've never been there. So uh, we'll find out and we'll add, uh, we'll add it to the list or we won't add it to the list, but make it a fun day. Let's do it. Might be a good one. I'll definitely get it for some block top, but it's not. That's like a, I don't know, cheap to call it. no logo on it. Always look for like the milk glass style. Those are your vintage ones. I mean, some of these iron bugs might be worth some money, but I don't see any. Oh, Journey Park. From somewhere. Giant Quarter. I'll get that. A little local history. She just scooped it up. I just saw it. Just saw it. She took that one too. Mendy, save some for the rest of us. Oh. <laughs> hey, welcome. How you doing? Okay. This looks like it was all ran through. I went to the clothes first. Now I got I think, two sweatshirts. Video video games, three dollars each. No video games in there. Unless somebody already scooped them all up. But nothing in there. Oh, there's the video games. Here's your Wii stuff. So I put it to the side so we're probably going to go. Uh, you know? Hey, how are you? Doing all right.
Gemini Thrips, if you know her. I think Renee is somewhere down yonder. She has a full bag of stuff. I got three things. Four things. It's a lot of bottles. I gotta think about that. It's interesting because it's the hexagonal on the side, which is very expensive. But it's not blob top, so it doesn't indicate that it's very old. This was really deep. It's made out of metal. It's a little rough. It's kind of cool though. If it's there when I get back, I'll grab it. That's kind of cool. It's weird that they have a whole antique section over here. Some of these character glasses are worth a decent amount. I just don't know enough about them. Hey, this is like, I also was late to the antique section. Go figure. There's no subject matter, so I'll go back. I thought the same thing. I didn't. I didn't know a white crop. Was. Put your bag down, grab it. There, give me your bag. Oh, I got it. There you go. Yeah, I did take it out to make sure. There she is. Books go Is this a Wait, what? Original 25, what is it talking about? I don't know what it's talking about. That says $2. Okay. Ah, cuter. Gotta love it, right? Why am I buying more of it? I was talking to uh, Dave at a uh, flea market. You guys remember Blue Bus Dave and uh, we were talking about Peter and how he has a guy who gives $10 a pound for it. The only issue, I have to go to Vermont. Can I really accumulate that much Peter? Time will only tell. I can't believe that one lady literally just scooped up that mug right in front of me. I was just about to go to it. Just about to go to it. I think there's a miss. This one right there. Atlantic City. Don't need that. Oh, it's chilly. This is a silver plate dog bowl. Is that what I'm looking at right here? What is this? It's not a dog bowl. Get it for a dollar.
can't remember what else he said. He said something about them also buying silver plate, but I think it was less. It was going to be eight dollars, and they paid a price of I think one percent of the total weight is paid in silver, and then I think sixty percent is paid in copper. And they take anything that's nickel, but they don't pay you for it. It was like a weird conversation I had with him about it, but it seemed like it was profitable. It was just more about. You really want to invest the time or the, the hours you drive there. Vermont's pretty far up here. It's, I don't know, six hours. I would consider it though. Everything is really priced pretty accordingly. The antiques are kind of priced expensive, but like a lot of stuff is a quarter. This is 10 cents, granted I don't think I'd, I'd probably throw this out, but that's just me. But somebody else can use it here, that's up to them. But a lot of stuff's a quarter, 50 cents, a dollar, three dollars. This is three dollars, William George, his diploma for electrical engineering. Feel very light, but they feel like steel anyway. So I say maybe they're sterling, but they're not. I think someone asked me about these. No, they didn't. They asked me something similar to this. They asked me about magnets. But I don't think they want advertisement magnets. No price on either. This is this is kind of neat though. All right, onward we go. It was an absolute wind tunnel in here. This parking situation at best, but I guess I was here for an hour. Onward we go. All right, here's always the fun part. It's hair everywhere. This golden retriever thing is. Getting out of control right now. This all says, jeez. Don't want to break the merchandise. So this is like the cool thing that I got. Let me take that out. I know she wants to get some more pewter. Hold on, so we gotta do the recap. People always love the recap on the floor. So, uh, I don't know if theatrical is the right word. out of control. The clothes I never really even looked at. I just kind of grabbed them. I didn't realize they were only a dollar until I went to check out. Um, I didn't even know there was a whole box of t-shirts there. I didn't even see the box of t-shirts until it was probably looked through by maybe eight or ten people. Go figure. Uh, but definitely got some cool things here. This I thought was pretty neat. I don't know if this is end scale. This was three dollars at one point. That was three seventy five or vice versa. It was only a dollar. It's a uh, Baltimore, Ohio, 40068 or 4008, uh, made by Atlas. Or car. I think that's, that looks like caboose to me. It does not look like an or car, but maybe it is. That looks like that looks like a caboose. Maybe it is. I don't know. I don't think that's an or car. I think an or car would have. It'd be like the thing with the. Uh, you can drop stuff in it. I don't know, like a coal car, so to speak. Got some pewter. I still don't know if this is actually pewter because it's made by the pewterers. Um, so I assume it's pewter, but it's Woodbury. That's the maker of it. I think I did a little bit of research online. So that was kind of neat. I got some silver plate. There's a lot of silver plate there. This is kind of a neat one. Um, I thought it was a dog bought for it first. It was only a dollar. Some more pewter. This actually had something on it. Top score RBY. R-B-Y-E, top score. I wish I had a date, because I feel like this is probably old, but doesn't. Just says top score. A little piece of history, Dorney Park mug as well. Those are kind of cool. 
a couple Penn State sweatshirts. Not too bad for a dollar, or one. Uh, nice fila. I've had this one, I think, in black. It sold very quickly. There's a Pennsylvania State Police Road Dogs t-shirt. Older one. And then this one's kind of cool. It's an IndyCar World Series. 1994. Has all the dates. MasterCard. Remember when MasterCard advertised everywhere? That's a really cool shirt. It's kind of like an off pink color. Um, driving to the rummage sale, we drove by Nazareth uh, Speedway. Drove by Nazareth Speedway, and obviously it's closed down. It's been closed down for some time. Um, it's also kind of gated off, but there's like a tree line. And if you go on Google Maps, it looks really, really cool to see what the Speedway used to look like, um, or at least looks like today. It looks like abandoned. You can see where the haulers used to come in. It's kind of a little, it's a cool piece of history. And then lastly, I have this seltzer bottle. It's a cool seltzer bottle, which was uh, $3 or $2. I can't tell what that says. That's a three. Um, it's got something on it says Sh Schrager's maybe? Schrager's Beverages, New York. Very, very faint on it, but a cool seltzer bottle. You don't really come across them that often. This is a little bit better. Quaker City Mineral Water Company, uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. 26 fluid ounces on West York Street. It's got kind of like a, what well, looks like a Quaker on there. But really, really cool. With the uh, the top on as well. It's also going crazy over this newspaper. Look at this chunk mark just taken out of it outrageous um, but that's gonna wrap it up here for another awesome day hopefully you guys enjoyed this awesome awesome day of the rummage sale like i said didn't know i was going to go to a rummage sale or an auction today i think i made the right decision um i didn't get suckered into being at an auction all day and get some work done around here i have to do i do have to run to the scrap yard as well but uh been a fun day fun fun adventure hopefully you guys enjoyed it hopefully rummage sale is going to start popping off here and we can get to a bunch more but if you guys enjoy the video hit the like button subscribe down below for more treasure runs and of course, I'll catch you guys next time for our next adventure. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.